Hey Lennies, welcome back to the channel, Lorelai here. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be discussing what's been going on with Lennon lately, how it's been affecting me and the channel, as well as our steps going forward, and just kind of do a little life update in general because I feel like I haven't done one of those in a long time. So yeah, grab a seat, grab some tea, make yourself at home, get cozy, and let's hop right into this video. So first things first, back in September, as I was doing like this massage, this steep massage on Lennon, I discovered a lump. It sent me into a spiral and I was crying and booked um, a vet appointment like immediately. This is why I recommend like giving your bunnies massages and having them live inside with you and constantly like interacting with your rabbit because otherwise how would you ever discover something like this if your rabbit lives outside or in isolation. I had to take Lennon in for her physical anyway and to do like her yearly physical and to get her um, annual uh, RHDB2 shot. So I kind of like lumped it all into one appointment. <laughs> Lump, no pun intended. But the vet did, you know, shave off like the fur and examined the lump and um, offered to take like a little biopsy of it. So I waited for the results for like two weeks and the results came back inconclusive. And this this kind of like pissed me off, honestly, because I paid like good money for that biopsy and they couldn't figure out what it is. The only information given was that it's a cyst of some sort and it's inconclusive. So the vet really only gave me two options. She was like, well, we can just, we can remove it and you know, you can have peace of mind knowing it's gone and you know, or you can monitor it and just see if it keeps growing or if it just stays the same size. Cause when it grows, that's when you want to worry. But if it's just like the same size, it's probably you know, not something serious. So then she sends me like the quote for it to be removed and it's like a thousand plus dollars, which is just like so much money, you guys. Like so, so crazy to me. And I don't wanna be cheap with Lennon, so don't get me wrong. Like I will pay whatever I have to pay for Lennon, but I also like, I don't just like have money to blow, you know? And so I just wanna be wise with how it is spent and make sure that like if it's going to get done, it's gonna get done correctly because I already threw away money paying for the biopsy, which like was totally useless. The other thing I don't like about the surgery guys is Lennon would have to go under anesthesia for it. And that like scares me because Lennon is nine. Like she just turned nine today basically. And she's a senior, so going under is risky. I don't want anything to happen to her. If something happens to her in surgery, I'll never be able to forgive myself. And then watch, it turns out like the cyst was just totally benign and I had put her under for no reason. Like I would hate myself forever, especially if like, something happens to her, you know? Now in terms of the second option, which I'm just leaning more toward, uh, which is monitoring it, I think that's like kind of what I've been doing anyway, because this was four months ago when I discovered it, and so far it has not grown at all. And you know, Lennon is still like acting the same. She's not in pain. It doesn't hurt her for me to like touch it or anything. And so yeah, it's it's kind of like a really weird situation that I don't really know what to do with. So I'm just like continuing to watch it and she's, you know, everything appetite, personality is all the same. But you guys know, like I worry about her deeply because she's at my all, she's my world. Every day I'm like just nervous about, you know, her. I mean, I think it's a catch-22, right? A double-edged sword, if you will. Like, there's a risk 
with either option. I just don't have it in me to put her under anesthesia right now. So I've just been struggling like mental health wise. A lot of transitions this year in my life. It's been a rough year. I really wanna thank our sponsor BetterHelp because they're making this video possible today. So therapy over the years has really helped me understand the root of a lot of my patterns and behaviors. Prior to therapy, I never really interrogated why I was doing certain things or reacting certain ways. So I've really been unpacking where a lot of my anxiety comes from and learning how to soothe and nurture myself during times of panic and also unpacking how a lot of that anxiety affects the way I view my friendships and relationships and especially um, how I handle myself during times of panic with Lennon for example with her lump situation. So the good thing about BetterHelp is you can have your sessions from the comfort of your own home. BetterHelp connects you with a network of over 30,000 therapists to choose from. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire that helps you assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. So if you think you'd benefit from a little therapy, clicking the link below helps support this channel and also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So I really hesitated with like putting this information out there in the world because I just don't want it to like be this self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever. And I know that sounds weird, but I just don't want to like verbalize it and publicize it and get you guys worked up over it when I don't even know the severity of it. But I, I think that it's also important to share what we go through because maybe either you will learn from it or you have experienced it and you can share your experience. I mean, the vet was like, it could be totally benign. It could be like a fatty deposit or just like, yeah, a cyst. Like as we age, we all grow things, lumps and bumps and whatever. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, um, you know, fatal right because i think like that's what we do as bunny parents is we catastrophize things or at least i do the other thing i want to bring up guys um i'm leaving for india in two days it's crazy it's blowing my mind even saying that because i think um i think i won't actually believe it till i'm there like till i land you know because it's such a Mm, it's such a mystical place for so many of us and I know that India just sounds so inconceivable to a lot of people because it is so far away from like where I live for example and it's a place that I've been wanting to visit pushed it back all these years and then I was supposed to go this summer kept pushing it back and so now I am able to finally go and I'm going to be shooting at least one video down there. I'm potentially gonna shoot a second one, but for sure one video that I'm working with, um, an NGO, Purple Patch Trust. They are a small animal rescue in the New Delhi area, and they're gonna be hosting a meet and greet for me as well. So I'm so excited to meet with so many of you and connect with you know, the rabbit community in India, because yes, there is one. The crazy thing about all this is India is our third largest demographic on this channel. And if you don't know what that means, it means that India has the third most viewers that watch us like after the United States and Canada, which is, it blows my mind. And I know so many of you feel like, you know, there's really a lack of educational rabbit care in India and you've really found comfort and a voice through me and you've learned so much through my practices and you're spreading that to your towns and communities in India and like that's the kind of stuff that really just makes makes these videos worth it for me. I love being able to meet with you guys all over the world. You guys know that um, I've done meet and greets in several countries now outside of the U.S. and um, it just means so much to me that so many of you trust me and trust Lennon with our videos. And then the last thing I want to talk about guys, something that's been consuming all my time is the launch of our Hop Litter Box. It is our brand and it's something that I've been working on for almost two years now behind closed doors. I haven't really spoken about it because it's just been a work in progress and now we're toward the very end. It's 
being manufactured, being shipped here, and we really wanted to get it out before Christmas, but um, it's looking a little bit more like after Christmas. Of course, I'm gonna make an entirely separate video on this litter box and what it actually does. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up though that that is why, you know, I think I've like tapered down on the videos a bit this year because I've shifted my focus so much to this product launch. Please follow at hop retail for updates. Thanks for sticking around. Comment below on any of the information I've talked about today, whether it's Lennon's Lump, trip to India, um, our products, and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. So I'll see you guys soon. Wish me luck. Mwah.